Hello everybody. In this basic key shot tutorial, I would like to talk about environmental lighting and background setting. Okay, let's start. To begin, we should display the library by clicking on this icon. Okay, in the library, you'll notice that there are several tabs like the material, the color, and the environment. So basically, to assign an environment to the scene is as simple as just dragging it over to the scene. Okay, so let's say I want to use this as an environment. You can just click and drag it onto the scene. And you can see that the scene is now using our newly assigned environment. By default, Keyshot gives us quite a fair bit of environments to choose from. However, you also have the options of going to the cloud library to get other um, environments as well. So to access the cloud library, just click on this icon and you can see that yeah, there are lots of other environments and even materials and backplates to choose from okay okay what if you are happy with the reflection of the environment on your object however you do not want to use this uh, background okay for that you have the option of going to the project windows the environment tab and you can see that there is a background section here is where you can set the background okay there are three options uh, light lighting environment which is uh, what we are using now basically uh, using the HDR image that uh, you have assigned okay and you also have the option of using a flat color okay so if I click on the color and you can click on this to set the color okay okay what if I want to use a specific image as a background in this case I want to use this image that I've created as a background okay to do that, you can use the backplate image option. So you can click on this and then select that background image. Okay, so this is the image that I have uh, created and click open. Okay, and you can see that our scene is using this uh, background image. Okay. Okay, in the ground section, you have the options of adding things like the ground shadow. Okay, see now, now I'm adding the ground shadow and it's allowing the design to better integrate with the background. Okay, and then you also have options uh, such as the ground reflection. Let's say I turn it on, you can see that the back the ground is uh, creating some reflections of, of the, the object in the scene okay okay with that I come to the end of this demo see you around bye